hey guys welcome back to a new vlog it's your girl taja so if you are new here make sure that you are subscribed and part of the family this is going to be more of a weekly vlog getting back into a routine vlog and just something more chill more subtle and my real realistic life i'm getting back to my business stuff i am well i've always been about my business stuff but i'm trying to get my license my dental hygiene license done and i'm gonna give you guys some updates on that and how the process is going for me because a lot of y'all have been asking like y'all been asking me did i quit dental hygiene is this it or what and girl no i did not quit i have to get papers mailed sent out mailed back to me and i have to send a package and all of that good stuff you <laughs> so that's where we are at right now i am packaging orders i have to ship orders today i have to clean this house this the house is a mess i have to get this house cleaned i'm gonna go ahead and get these packages sent out i have my little business desk set up now but i'm still waiting on my chair So basically I fried some shrimp in here, some sausage, I added some bacon, some seasoning, onion, pepper, garlic. Mainly I use this seasoning, some uh, garlic salt, cayenne pepper, salt and pepper. And these are the beans that I'm gonna use. The kidney beans, they are already cooked. Pour that on here before I add my rice, okay? So my mom gave me this recipe. Also, that's how we cook a rice from Haiti. Dinner is basically ready, guys. I'm just waiting on the rice. It's taking a little bit longer. But yeah, it's about to be so good. Hey, y'all. So today's Thursday. So I know I haven't vlogged much yesterday. Did I even, I'm trying to think what footage I gave y'all yesterday. I was working on my business. I cleaned around the house. Oh, and I cooked. I guess I showed y'all some stuff. Okay, all right, all right. Didn't get to go anywhere because I just had a lot going on around the house and I had to get those packages ready. By the time I was done with everything, it was afternoon and I just wanted to settle down and chill. But um, let me go ahead and put some earrings on. First, I'll be back. I almost forgot I have to head to the post office to drop off some packages for my business then I have to stop at um, a Western Union because my dad sent me some money for my birthday okay I'm still daddy's girl I don't care what nobody says and then after that I'm heading to my mom's house because she wanted a slice of the cake so I got her a big slice wrapped it up very nicely we're gonna head to her house i'm just gonna chill and hang out with her and i'll bring her a slice of cake so why not so yeah that's basically what i'm doing for today the hardest thing for me is to finally get out of the house because i'll keep finding things to do things will come up and i you know before you know it it's too late to leave all right outfit of the day i'm wearing these white high-waisted jeans they are from fashion nova i've had those jeans for a minute they have a little stain somewhere in the front i don't really wear them for any special occasions i'll just wear them if i'm like just running errands you know i think this top is from fashion nova as well yeah and then my mask is from taj's lux boutique but anyways i will see y'all in a little bit
just made me some tea and I'm currently working on breakfast. So this is the tea that I'm trying today. It's a passion tea. It tastes really, really good. Just something a little healthier is what I'm trying. Also has like a little lemony taste to it. So I really like that because I was gonna put some lemon, but I don't have lemon. to watch Real Housewives of Potomac the new season I don't really watch it consistently I've seen a couple episodes here and there but um I decided to put this on while I am working on my orders because if not I'm about to fall asleep <laughs> so comment down below if you've seen it and what you think oh shoot yep I'll see y'all later. Good morning, guys. I just got ready, washed my hair, and put this wig on. Today, y'all, I have to go to the furniture store. I gotta go to American Signature Furniture because we have a problem. If you guys have watched my last vlog, not my birthday vlog, the vlog before, um, where I was kind of setting up things in the living room and I showed y'all the couch and I explained to y'all that the couch didn't fit. Like for some of the comments that were recommending me switching out the couch from in front of the door to the other side, that was initially the first thing that I did. I purchased a sectional and the sectional does not fit. Originally how it's supposed to fit, it's blocking the whole like walkway of the living room. But um, I originally wasn't happy with it because you know, what's the point of buying a sectional if you can have it in as a sectional and it just looks like it's taking up too much room in my living room. You know, I really love that open space in the living room and I just want to keep that. I don't want to crowd it up with furniture or decor. So basically, um, I called them and they were like, okay, we'll just take a picture of how it looks. Come on in. Let's see what we can figure out. I can either return or exchange it, which I'm going to try to exchange it today. It's the living room right now, okay? Originally, in my last vlog, this piece right here was right there against the windows. It was blocking that open space. I did not like it. It just didn't make sense at that time, you know? Um, and that's where you guys was like, okay, it looks awkward here. It doesn't make sense. Move it around or put it in storage and just keep this. I don't wanna just keep this like that because this is part of the sectional. One um, end has an arm, the other end is different. So this morning I tried to switch it out. I was like, okay, well, let me put it right here. If I decide to attach this as a sectional, which it would go right here, this whole area here would be blocked. So you literally wouldn't have any room to walk. So I decided to put it like this, which still looks really awkward and it's just not matching. So I've decided it's not working for me. Like I've spent all this money on this couch and it's just not working for me, unfortunately. My plan today is to return this couch and eventually get something else that I love. I'm but anyways, yeah, your girl is trying to figure this out. Um, at the end of the day, this is all the process of finding what my vibe is in this place. I'm trying to find my vibe, I'm trying to find what makes me happy, and I'm doing it all for me. Some of my comments was talking about, oh, well this painting doesn't make sense, this rug and this, let me tell you girl, Nastasia is gonna do what Nastasia wants to do for her. Cause guess who paying the bills here? Me, <laughs> okay? Cause your girl is paying the bills. Your girl is sleeping here every day. So I'm gonna do what I have to do for me to find my groove and to find my space. Right now though, before I get on the road to go to the furniture store, um, I'm gonna stop at Starbucks. I was watching Kyra's vlog 
yesterday or the day before and i seen her try this fall drink that she was saying how good it was it was a long order too so i need to write it down but it was like a pump with some type of pumpkin spice in it because one I want to try new drinks from Starbucks and two, it's fall so I do want to try some fall drinks, period. So we're going to do that today. Um, I'll let y'all know what it is in a second. Girl, Kyra said this drink tastes like fall so we about to see. I had to replay her vlog and write it down. It's the iced chai tea latte with almond milk, light ice, pumpkin cream cold foam with pumpkin spice on top. Better be good. I'm gonna get a grande because Venti is like huge. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Can I get a grande iced chai tea latte with almond milk, light ice, pumpkin cream cold foam with pumpkin spice on top? All right, what up for you? One of my subscribers said she tried the um drink i recommended in my last video what drink was that it's the caramel ribbon crunch and she loves it oh baby this is the drink y'all i love how the pumpkin spice looks on top hold on it's pretty good okay my favorite part is the foam on top that's my favorite part about it. If this whole drink could have the foam. I do feel like it could be sweeter. <laughs> I feel like it could be sweeter. I will add some caramel in this next time. Yep. Next try next time I try this, I'm gonna add some caramel in it. But I'm definitely getting that pumpkin vibe, that fall vibe. And it's really, really good. Definitely try it. Like I said. Try it without the caramel, see how you like it. But next time I get it, I'm gonna get caramel in there. Y'all, I'm probably gonna go live on my Instagram. I need some opinions. So this is the couch that I had, okay? This is how it's supposed to be. But clearly, y'all know it doesn't fit. He showed me in the beginning. I don't know if I'm gonna be, look at that painting, I love these paintings. What he showed me was a smaller version of that couch right here and he was saying that I could get an accent chair or armless chair to go with it. y'all what a trip okay so everything is set which i can wait at least i have something to sit on in the meantime but and i came the big lots because i need a charger and my phone is dead so i'm about to see what they have here my mask up girl i'll be putting this mask down without even realizing that you know i've never been to big lots before this is weird i might as well just look around and see what they got okay this gonna work I'm gonna have this in my car. What else do I need here? Girl, I did not know Big Lots was a whole furniture store at the same time. Let me find out. They got rugs up in here. So I'm looking for an all black comforter set. Um, I don't think they have that here. So that's fine, I'll check online. Oh, they got more. What else y'all got up in here? I want black. My room theme is gonna be black and white. Y'all, I'm at American Mart, which is right across from where I just came from. Love this bed. This is a nice bed too, and it's only $5.49. All right, y'all, look at this other bed set they have here. This is cute. This whole bedroom set is a package and this is the price. So my mom wants this nightstand. It's gonna match her room. So I'm gonna get it for her today. He's checking to see if they have it available right now. I love this bed. This is like my bed basically, just a different color. And look at this blue one too. You guys, check this out. The ladies here at my office 
called me over and they wanted to give me this little gift box here as a, like a welcome box you know and they also saw my youtube video so they're very appreciative of me which i am so appreciative of them um so we have two champagne glasses i love rosé i'm gonna try this for y'all because that wine that i bought was trash mm -hmm. this is some champagne oh and then we got two robes this look like just like house robes <gasps> your girl got a hundred dollar gift card spa nails bar so sweet so nice hey, good morning i'm here sitting on my desk and i just packaged a bunch of orders thank you guys so much that support me and shop with my website tasha's lux boutique i feel really productive honestly but I have some hair reviews to do. I think I'm gonna film two hair videos today. Um, and just wanted to take y'all on a behind the scene of what my day consists of. I want to get back on some dental hygiene videos, even if that's just advice videos or how to's or how I got here. So um, you guys definitely drop some topics down below for me on some dental hygiene videos y'all want me to film. I'm gonna choose let me go get those boxes to see which hair reviews I'm doing today. I want to film two instead of one. But yeah, let me take my vitamins for the day, honey. That consists... Usually consists of my multivitamin one a day and my iron. Because I'm anemic. Trying to get back into a routine. I want to start working out here at my gym. But not today. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to the gym. And I'm taking y'all with me, okay? I've got some hair reviews to do. And I have more hair on the way. And But I'm doing... I'm trying to get into different type of sponsorship as well. Hold on. Because TV's done. I'm trying to get into... um Diverse types of sponsorships as well. Not just hair. But like clothing sponsorship. I have a clothing sponsorship. The package is on the way. I have a skincare one coming up. And what else? Oh, I have something else that's very interesting. But y'all have to stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm trying to do something different. But yeah, y'all, it's kind of that. Um, I'm going to go hop in the shower, do my makeup for these videos. Um, and then I'm going to film two out of those three here today. Um, I'm going to film two videos. <laughs> so I'm learning to, me and my man, we could go through something. And I'll call somebody and it just, a week later, they bringing it back up. Like, so what happened with it? I don't do that because not everybody wants to see you doing well. You know, this one person I was venting to about my. Trying to see what this look is giving, child. This is the behind the scenes. I just, um installed the hair and i just changed my top girl i just be changing the top just the bare minimum <laughs> enough to get the look completed and then um i put on this headband which is from my website tasha's less boutique and then i'm gonna take some pictures too for this company because they're really asking for the pictures honey youtube is a lot of work okay people think that working on social media is all fun and glamorous and whatever it's a lot of work it's a lot of behind the scenes things. Plus I have to edit this video and get it sent out and all that good stuff. So don't work for free y'all. Don't work for free. If you're a small YouTuber, you're trying to start YouTube or you already have your channel and you're doing collaborations and you need to know, should I take this free hair in exchange? No, we ain't exchanging nothing but money, <laughs> but the green, okay? um and i ain't gonna lie like i've done it in the very beginning of my channel like maybe like i've done one or two collaborations but i still don't as i get to 10k not even i mean you don't even have to have 10k it really depends on your views and your content but as soon as i got to 10k i was like that's done i ain't doing nothing for free or commission based because they never ne nothing ever gives out of that um i have a fee you can accept it or you can move on when you have the budget reach back out okay so that is my advice you know if you are trying to start this just know that your work okay value your work and your time 
um, your work, your time is valuable. You are not doing nothing for free because these brands are making money off of the advertisement that you're doing at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? That is just something because not you'll either have brands that try to have you work for free or they'll try to not pay you as much when they're gonna come, they're gonna turn around and pay that next YouTuber that might have less follower, followers than you, double the price that they offered you. They can pay. Y'all want a video on this? Y'all want to talk more on this? Let me know. But that's just something I wanted to put out there because I have been victim of the finessing system. And yeah, I'm no longer accepting. But I cut that off real quick, honey, because I have seen, you know, how the game works. And you have to, you know, you are a brand. So you have to, this, you decide is your brand valuable or not you decide the worth of your brand you know what i'm saying but anyways let me go ahead and finish this video and then i'll be back with y'all all right i gotta take some pictures now let me turn off this song forget that I have this patio sometimes because I'm just not used to it you know in my last apartment I didn't have that and we were on the first floor so we just had like a um like a little backyard area which was really nice for pictures and stuff like I would go out there and um shoot for my business photos and just post pictures all the time I um, decided to just pick up the camera and just say hi and also show y'all what I'm doing today which is not much but just grocery shopping is what I really need to do I literally have like four Amazon packages that made it here and I know they're gonna be heavy one of them is my coffee table one of them is the painting for my bedroom which is like a set of three uh, canvas um, they're like medium size and then what else made it oh I bought like a camera tripod to take pictures okay we got packages for the grills but let me tell you how there's nothing separating the painting from the box. I'm very surprised because they can get torn real quick. But no, it doesn't look like it, but they could have. Y'all ready to see? I'm so excited. Oh my God, this is gonna be perfect for my room theme. I'm about to put them up right now because I'm so excited. I got these from Amazon, y'all. Don't sleep on Amazon. If y'all want to know exactly which ones, I will link them down below. But I think I wanna go ahead and put them up right now. Mm. This looks so good. It looks and it feels real as well. A lot of people have asked me where my vanity is from. I'm gonna also link that down below, okay? I'm gonna start linking some items that I mentioned in the vlog so y'all can just know where to get them. Cause I wanna be a good influencer and that's what good influencers do. You link things down below. <laughs> All right, let me go get some screws. This just made my day, by the way. I'm so excited, I don't know if y'all can tell. Those two are perfectly aligned, but that third one needs to go down just a tiny bit. Yay! Right here, right here. I'm getting rid of the pink aspect in this room. Black and white is the theme for me for this room. I'm at my mama's house, y'all. What did you say about Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A mm, Chick is the worst thing that people can eat. That's what I'm saying. 
Et quand on papier bas à pied, ça c'est ça l'idée. Pour à pied. I mean the chicken. Et quand ce chicken là, et quand on l'avait mangé, there was no taste. Ou pas, ou pas, ou pas, ou pas, ou pas pour vous manger. Dips and matcha for the She said she was sad eating it. What? Like, you look cute. Show your outfit of the day. Mmm. <laughs> Pink on the hat, Gucci on the toes. Okay. <laughs> I look very basic, honey. I did not feel like doing nothing today. Yeah, I feel doing nothing every day. This is the I feel doing nothing, Jerry. Let me show you my outfit. I'm wearing this two piece by Fashion Nova. This is so comfortable. I know it is. Mm-hmm. That thing is still thinking in the back. <laughs> and then I'm about to put my um Louis Vuitton headband in a little bit. We about to go yeah. get our nails deep. You know, like a bad should. So so it's like it's 70 degrees, so you don't want no AC in your car? No. Why not? But what happened to you this morning? You are like so aggravated, come on down there. And what made you cut it out? Just cut it out. It's like aggravated, man. Okay, you can cut it out. She's so paid. Aggravated. She's like, I mean, it's like friends. She's your name. <laughs> no. The guy that has some machine. This person is someone I like. Who's like, if I next time I got machine, then that's someone. Is it straight? I saw a neck. It it has muscles that pushes you forward. Bali. Anyway. Pass your wiper around. Pass your wiper around. Shelly, that's so. So composed. You have. 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 You cannot do the tour by yourself. Oui. You come see the pet he's, he's protecting himself. Oh. <clears throat> We're about to go get our nails done. I'm getting a pedicure because my my nail set is still looking pretty good. Even though I'm over the long nails and I'm just over it. Um, I'm gonna go another week. Oh. We got our pedicures done. All white. You're bad. You have the you cutest like toes ever. And you like it? That's pretty. All right, y'all. I am at Good Old Zara doing some shopping. I love this top. I'm gonna get this top. Yeah. So you guys stay tuned for the Zara haul. Actually, these are three fifty for the most part. And how much is the big one? That big one. The size uh, depends which one, but they range from the six hundred. Oh, it depends. Okay. Mm. That smells amazing. And it's the cream for life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let me smell the cherry again. The cherry smells really, really good. Do you have a favorite? My favorite one is um, I love this one. Mm -hmm. And this one too. Let me show you that one too. Mm hmm. But you know, I really like the original one too. That one smells amazing too. Are you guys speaking French? What are you speaking French? What are you speaking like It's Creole. Creole? Uh-huh. We're from Haiti. Haiti, okay. Oh, that's Grinja. I speak to Grinja. I'm Hari from Ethiopia. Oh. Yeah, I'm from East Africa. Okay, we're gonna do a quick unboxing, even though it's raining really hard outside. Honey, we smelled a lot of them, but my favorite personally and my mom's favorite too was the original Tom Ford Black Orchid. Okay, this right here, y'all, this bad boy smells amazing. But we're gonna smell it again now. She got the big bottle, the 100 milliliter bottle. You already know what is going down. We are at Cheesecake Factory. 
We got some calamari. I asked for marinara sauce because I don't like this sauce. But um it tastes like a ketchup. Yeah, it's cocktail sauce. But... So I got the passion fruit, mint, mojito thing. It's kind of like a mojito, but it doesn't have any alcohol in it because I'm about to drive. But mmm, this is about to be good. That's what you wanted. Okay, so what I have is the shrimp scampi, but I just, instead of doing the linguine pasta, I just did a side of mashed potatoes and asparagus. So my asparagus is coming, but how good does that look? It's like lightly breaded, and we're gonna taste it. Oh, it's really good. Okay, girl, so thank you. You wanna try? So good. Gotta have a cheesecake, y'all. Gotta have the cheesecake. Ooh. So, um, this is a quick stop before I head to the gym. I just wanted to pick up the camera and say, girl, I'm getting back to a routine. I'm going to the gym today. So I'm happy, I'm proud of myself. So I just had a light little breakfast, some orange juice, banana, a PB&J, okay? Cause I need the energy at the gym. I've tried working out without eating before and it's just, yeah, I was trembling like a branch. So, yeah, I needed food. I needed energy. I feel great now. I'm about to put my socks on, put my shoes on, and go to the gym. I need to get some gym outfits because now I'm like, okay, if you're really going to do this, girl, you got to look presentable, okay? But, um, <laughs> yes, uh, wish me luck on that. Guess I'll see y'all later. Y'all. So I went to the gym, went to the gym, got on the treadmill for a cool 20 minute, no, maybe 15, girl. As soon as I walked in that gym, the trainer at the gym, well, he came to help me with the door because the door wasn't working. He showed me how to open it up because it had something wrong with it. And I was like, oh, thank you. And I was like, do you know if there's treadmills in there? And he was like, um, yeah, he was like, it's your first time in here? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, all right, well, my name is so-and-so, I'm a trainer here. Um, let me give you a free session here today. It's on me. You know, anybody would be like, oh, heck yes. I was like, the moment I said yes, I was like, you fucked up. <laughs> it was so freaking, it was so hard, y'all. It was so hard, it was so challenging. I couldn't do anything, I got nauseous. <laughs> I felt like I was about to throw up. I could not do anything. Hi guys, guess where I'm at today? Oh my God, I'm, this is too much today. <laughs> they are busy. I look crazy. That's what I got, that was the same drink that I tried for you guys. I said I wish it was sweeter, but I'm starting to love it because honestly, I'm trying not to do too much sweet. Um, the next day I went back and I tried the vanilla iced chai tea latte um with pumpkin cream cold foam and that was perfect but it was just a tad bit sweeter i figured i'm gonna stick to this just because it's not as sweet and it's still really delicious mm. and this is a little bit more pumpkin-y than the other one that i tried it's the cold foam for me i need to learn how to do this at home because one it's not a caffeinated drink i can't do coffee drinks i, I just I'm like trying to stay away from coffee. Um, but let me tell you what happened. Um, so I also ordered the egg bites and he accidentally gave me someone else's order. That's why I always look into my food. I always check my food. I was like, um, this is not what I ordered. And he, you know, they can't take food back from you. Um, the moment they hand it to you and you grab it, like that's that. So he's like, well, enjoy it. It's a turkey pesto panini sandwich i was like mm, i sure will but i still got my egg bites though so i'm in the parking lot right now just about to have this um because i have to run to target which is right across the street let me show you one thing i got i like those shoes like just some basic black shoes white sole okay but y'all you know it's starting to get cold out and your girl's starting to look at oh this is so cute how freaking cute is this, y'all? That one too. Oh. I've been wanting a mini waffle maker for so long. 
this is what I got. I love the blue one. Egg bite maker. But yeah, I got me a mini waffle maker. I needed these oil vinegar bottle dispensers. I got that. I just got some black bowls sometimes, just like mixing bowls when I'm cooking or just whisking eggs or whatever. I needed these for my room. And I'm contemplating if I want to keep this or not. I don't think I'm going to keep this. I think I'm going to end up getting a duvet cover instead. So let's head right back to that area so I can exchange it. I have finally found some chai tea latte. Black tea, cinnamon, ginger, and vanilla. This is the classic chai latte. Blend with milk and enjoy hot or iced. Um... Y'all, I'm about to mix me some recipes, honey. They had a pumpkin one too, but I didn't just want to have a pumpkin. I wanted to have a classic, so I can't add pumpkin to it if I want to. You know what I'm saying? I got this Nature Valley granola protein oats and honey just to make some bowl fruits in the morning. And I'm going to use some dairy-free yogurt. This is the silk vanilla, so hopefully this is good. It'll be my first time trying it. And so I can make a... What I'll do is have a few scoops of this in a bowl and I will add some fruits like banana, strawberry, blueberries, and I would also add a few oats and honey and top it off with some honey maybe. I'm gonna go for the toasted coconut chips, regular one. I forgot to show y'all, I grabbed these keratin protein masks for my hair just to give some my hair some deep conditioning treatment like every other wash day because my hair has been so dry lately. I just want to try this out. Um, keratin is good for just, you know, rebuilding the hair and straightening your hair anyway. So let me give this a try. Um, yeah, I think that completes everything. Oh, I switched out the comforter piece for a duvet set instead. So I have a comforter at home. What I'm gonna do is cover it up with this duvet and it comes with two shines. I made it back to the house and just filled these up. So in love. Um, they have them on Amazon too and I was gonna get them online instead, which they are a little bit bigger on Amazon, but you know what? I was like, this is just perfect for me. I don't need a really big one and honestly, they were cheaper at Target. So now I bought two of them. I'm gonna fill the other one up with white vinegar because I do use this to cook sometimes like when I'm um, making my meat or just depends on what I'm making. So I'm gonna fill it up with that too. And voila, like you guys, all done. I am so freaking excited about this waffle maker. Like y'all have no idea. It is the tiniest waffle maker I've ever seen but it's just perfect. It's, oh, I forgot that I had this. So I'm gonna try to make a recipe with my classic chai tea latte and incorporate this in there. If you guys have any recipe ideas, let me know down below in the comments because I would love to make this. Now I drink silk almond milk, love it. But this is my first time trying this yogurt. So let's just hope it's good. Let me try it. Mmm. Y'all, this tastes just like a regular yogurt. Like a regular vanilla yogurt. It's really good. Okay, I'm trying to think how much do I really want to eat right now. Yeah, this is good. This is how much I got in the bowl. You see right here. But yeah, this is really good. I recommend this. If you don't do dairy or you're trying to do dairy free. Me personally, I'm trying to step away from dairy. Like, I don't drink regular milk anyways with my cereal or nothing but i use cheese and stuff like that i'll probably still use cheese every now and then but i'm trying to do mostly dairy free 